What is going on guys? Money Webby here back again on Thursday. I got a five game slate here tonight. I got a broken down for you with my money six, six of my favorite plays on a slate. So before we get going, like always, if you could show some love to the like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. Let's try to see if we can get over a hundred likes on this one. Thank you if we can hit that. Let's hop right into it. So another night where there's some solid value. So I'm going to be paying up for the top dogs. Luka Doncic, guy has been killing it every single game for the most part. First game against the Knicks dropped 72 with 38, 14, and 10. And I think he has that kind of upside again here. The Knicks defense, not very good. Um, it's on the road, so hopefully he can stay close throughout. He can get like his 35 to 36 minutes or so, which he's been getting per game. Um, I think he can definitely flirt with another triple-double in this game. And uh, his usage has been really good. He's been shooting around like, uh, let's see, his average is probably around it's on average per game, but if you average it out, probably around like 18, 19 shots per game. Uh, he's been very active on the glass. I mean, he's nearly a averaging a triple-double on the season. So I think he's in for another big game here at 10000 The price seems a little bit cheap considering his upside of 60 to 70-plus. We've seen 70-plus and three out of the last like seven games there. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there. As my first guy, they weren't going to pair him up with Trey Young, another guy playing a ton of minutes the last three games. That's the real reason why I'm on him. Um, it's not a back-to-back, -back, so you don't have to worry about the minutes again too much. Um, and I th as I think he'll be able to get a 40 plus. Uh, we have Kevin Herter out of this game, Cam Reddish a little bit banged up, so he's really had to play those minutes. Um, and he's been the focal point of the offense, especially without John Collins. He's assist rate over the last few games with that. Uh, 40 minutes has been great, 12, 10, and 11. Another solid game here against the Phoenix Suns for him to be able to put up some points. Um, the Suns defense has been a little bit better, um, but I still think they're beatable, and I think Trey Young can uh, get in his groove again here and be able to get hopefully another double-double, and uh, he has the capability to fill it up with those extra minutes here. Not many players uh, are getting 40 minutes a game, so I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there. As my second guy, I'm going to go with Lou Williams here. At 7,700 with Kawhi Leonard on the back-to-back. -back. No official word on if he's playing or not, but I would assume he's going to be out, especially with Paul George likely back here. Um, so they can kind of rest Kawhi and have Paul George play here tonight. And then also Shamit is highly questionable, probably out for tonight. So Lou Williams has some minutes to absorb. Like we saw last night, 41 minutes, um, 36 and 39, two out of the last three as well. So his minutes upside is really good with those injuries and players out in mind. And um, he can be very active. Like, he can shoot a ton of shots, against, a, especially against a Pelicans defense that is not good. And uh, he always has that solid assist rate when he does get extra minutes. So at 7700 here, the price is upticked, like an uh, increase of price. Uh, but I still think he can give us 40-plus drafting points because the Pelicans defense has been so bad. And uh, I think Lou Williams, when he's been when he's given those minutes, he has really good upside, as we saw against Milwaukee with 58 drafting points in 39 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my third guy. Then I'm going to go with Derek Favors on the other side of the ball uh, for the Pelicans. Okafor questionable, but Favors has been playing pretty well the last two games in 29 minutes both, um, a double-double in each. And uh, he's always been a solid offensive player. Hadn't been given, like, the full opportunity this year so far to really kind of show his worth, but the last few games he's been able to do that against the against the Clippers in the starting lineup. Zubak not a great defender. Harrow a little bit better, and I still think Favors kind of matches up there as they're kind of like power forwards playing center in today's NBA. So I think the matchup makes sense. And at 5,500, hopefully he can continue to get that 30 minutes he's been seeing the last two games. And uh, they they have some injuries themselves. So obviously Brandon Ingram's injury is one to monitor as the next guy I'm going to men mention also gets a boost with Josh Hart being out. So they have some forwards out, so maybe they have to go a little bit bigger with favors to begin with. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my third guy. I'm going to go with Kenrich Williams, which I was getting at at uh, 4,500 with Ingram, questionable, Josh Hart out. I think Kenrich Williams really has some good minute, minutes upside. And this game also lawns the ball out. So they got Drew Holiday shifting over to the point guards. So their depth has really been kind of being attacked so far. And Kenrich, Kenrich Williams, whenever this guy is given an opportunity, he typically can fill it up. I mean, we saw last game against Houston, 11 rebounds. Eight points, good for 25 drafting points. It's not crazy upside, um, but he does have the capability to hit some threes and be able to be a decent scorer on the court. So a 4,500, and also with Kawhi Leonard, 
likely out, like I said, on the back-to-back. That really takes a hit to the Clippers' defense, especially their wing um, defense. So I think Kenrich Williams can return to value, but this could change if Brandon Ingram is playing. And uh, if, like, we get word that he's 100% good to go and he's going to play his minutes that he's been playing, because Ingram has been playing, like, 40 minutes a game almost in some of these games. And uh, if he plays, then that could take a hit to Kenrich Williams. But at the moment, we're operating that Josh Hart is out and Brandon Ingram could be out as well. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my fourth, I mean, my fifth guy. I'm going to go with Hunter, another guy seeing a ton of minutes over the last two games, 39 and 40 minutes. Hasn't been able to do too much with them. But had 14 shots in this game against Portland. That's a good sign. And uh, I think he can be able to get a few good amount of rebounds, like five and six, not too bad. And if he can just score a little bit and uh, maybe get a little bit more defensive stats, which he has a capability of doing, I would say, and at 4,000, I think he can return some solid value. Not crazy value upside, but I think he can be a solid, just safe guy with the minutes. Um, Kevin Herter out of this game, reddish, questionable. So like I mentioned, kind of with Trey Young, they kind of have their starters have to play some more minutes. And Hunter is another guy that's been playing a ton of minutes. So hopefully he gets some extra run here again. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my final guy. So not as much money left over. Maybe if you want to sub out one of these guys for a cheaper guy or just kind of roll with the studs and kind of cheap guy um, attack that I'm going with this lineup. You got Doncic, Lou Williams, Kenrich Williams, Favors, Trey Young, and Hunter. So I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like on the video if you did. Over 100 likes, that'd be great. Thank you. And also subscribe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. They continue to get these NBA DFS picks. You don't want to miss out. But good luck here tonight. Hope you guys won a ton of money. Comment any questions or any takes you might have down below. And we'll see you back here again next time.